Hello, hi. Assalamualaikum. We are going to learn about common artifacts and contaminants in pap smear. Okay, first, what is artifacts? What do you guys know about artifacts? Artifacts are findings in pap smear that need to be distinguished from pathogens. Artifacts are also some undesired objects that can influence the appearance of smear, thus preventing proper microscopic analysis. There are two types of penile cells, which are satisfactory squamous cell and also satisfactory glandular cell. A smear can be satisfactory and unsatisfactory. A smear can be satisfactory if it has an adequate amount of well-preserved and evenly distributed cell, then the sampling is good with minimal artifact and contaminants, and also the smear is appropriately fixed. A smear is unsatisfactory if it has scanty squamous cell component, improper sampling with presence of artifacts and contaminants, inadequate samples or poor quality of preparation, and also poor fixation with air drying. There are many reasons that cause unsatisfactory smear. A few of them are technique used during smear preparation, delay in fixation, incorrect staining time, and poor technique use when sampling. These are a few examples of unsatisfactory smears that you guys can see. How to get a good smear? A good smear must have a monolayer of well-preserved cell. This is important for the screener to get an accurate cytological interpretation. A good smear can be achieved by First, applying the good sampling technique. Always do the internal QC. Avoid using the glove with talk. Stand should be filtered and covered. Avoid delay or left the slide air dry. And always change the fixation. Now, let us take a look of few common artifacts. The first artifact is dust particle. Dust particle is prone to black in color and have irregular polygon shape. The second one is conflicts. Conflicts occur when there is a delay between removing the slide from the last side lane and applying the mounting media. This makes the zoning to evaporate and cause the position of air. This air then trapped mineral surface of squamous cell. The third one is cotton fiber. Cotton fiber has long shape, filamentous, and thin with no stain or color. The fourth one is drying. Drying can occur when time between smear and wet fix is prolonged resulting in rapid evaporation. This will make cytoplasm to take up more eosin and make the nucleus and chromatin details are less clear. Next artifact that we have is human hair. Human hair is long, relatively thicker than camel brush hair and dark brown in color. The next one we have is glove powder. Glove powder may resemble epithelial cell in cytologic smear. It appears as refractile, glassy, and polygonal with a high lump at the narrow end. The use of glove powder should be avoided because it may contaminate the smear. And last but not least, we have camel brush. Camel brush is long, thinner than human hair, translucent, and have yellow to light brown color. That's all from us. Thank you. And have a nice day.